movie fights are supposed to be epic. These are just epic fails. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hilariously awful movie fights. For this list, we're looking at fight scenes in films that are hilarious for all the wrong reasons. Since we're going to be talking about major plot points, consider this your spoiler alert. Number 10. Those damn neon ninjas. Ninja. Silent Assassin. What's wrong? Shit! Tiger's been arrested! In the build-up to this battle, there's a lot of loud speaking verging on yelling, teeth gnashing, and the phrase, to the death, being thrown around. Don't waste any more time. To the death. Although the acting is subpar to say the least, it's not the worst build-up to a fight. Hello, Temple. Are you ready to meet with me? First of all, you're gonna have to tell me who you are. Knight of Justice. Any potential for seriousness instantly goes the way of the dodo, though, when their ninja garb is revealed. Looking like a highlighter factory vomited all over their outfits, there's no way to avoid laughing at the clothes, music, and noises of each move. Number 9. Miraculous Recoveries, Riccio, the story of Ricky. We have to assume that when this film was shot, it wasn't meant to be taken seriously, as scenes like the warden in the meat grinder indicate. The martial arts flick doesn't feel like a comedy either, though. You know you're in for something special when the first interaction in a fight causes one combatant to lose an eye and the other to pull out his cut vein and tie it back together. That's followed up by the one-eyed man cutting his torso open and attempting to strangle the other with his guts. Do we need to explain the scene's inclusion anymore? Oh yeah. Like when I see that you are. Yeah. Number 8. Spooning and Eye Gouging – Samurai Cop Come on, try me! This battle immediately grabs our attention when two men with a grudge and swords come at one another. The fight is over before it even starts, however, since their swordsmanship is clearly sped up to make them look more proficient. And then things quickly devolve into spooning and holding hands with laughable results. Eye gouging and zero repercussions, several undefended elbows to the stomach, and a ritual suicide serve as the cherry on the top of this travesty of a fight. He's a samurai. He wants to die with honor. <laughs> Number 7. Fighting in Reverse, Atisaya Piravi. The fighting in this Indian film is unapologetically over the top. When a man trying his best to look cool is surrounded on all sides and attacked, we aren't expecting quick shots of the character taking the blows while jumping in response. The moment that has us laughing out loud, however, is when we realize that a lot of the action was clearly shot in reverse. It's a trick they use again and again, and it becomes more and more obvious throughout. It also becomes more and more entertaining. Number 6. Slow Motion, The Executioner Terrible 70s fashion at its finest is on full display in this sequence, yet the moves are so slow and stilted that it quickly takes a backseat. That is truly impressive. <laughs> Clearly featuring actors with zero fight knowledge or the ability to fake their way through, their attempts at striking are laughable at best. 
One of them even throws the same move about 15 times in a row, while the intended target simply moves his head back and forth. We've seen thumb wars with more creativity. Number 5. Gymnastic Fighting, Gym Kata oh, Gymnasts are amazing athletes, but they aren't exactly fighters. Sure, their skills might easily be applied to the fighting arts, but this film is based on the idea that they are already warriors. That's why we're sure Jim Kata's main character was truly relieved to find out that in the fictional country of Parmistan, there are structures resembling pommel horses in alleyways. <laughs> Using the equipment to fight off a horde of pitchfork brandishing townspeople who fortunately attack one at a time, he kicks them over and over again before retreating and surviving. I don't know what's real anymore. Number four, at least they call him Mr. Mr. No Legs. You fellas take care of things? I'll drive myself. It's not every day that a film features an extended fight sequence that includes action from a wheelchair ridden legless man. <laughs> and by no means do we want to belittle those who are missing limbs. In fact, we're quite sure they're not to be trifled with. <laughs> This scene shows said man fighting, however, is beyond ridiculous. Revealing that his wheelchair is outfitted with ninja stars and scored with music that sounds like it's out of a dream sequence. <laughs> this scene comes off as strange to say the least. <laughs> There is no denying the actor has some moves, though. Get the car. <sighs> Number three, Cheap Cheap, The Room. Lisa looks hot tonight. Yeah, so the Room is undoubtedly among the cream of the crop of bad movie making. But this scene often doesn't get the discredit it deserves. Joey, what, what's going on here? You really don't know, do you? Maybe I know more than you think I do, Mark. Forgotten among the overacting, gratuitously shot sex scenes, and horrible dubbing. Yeah, can I have a dozen red roses, please? Oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't know it was you. The shots of these two pushing each other, grabbing one another, and their threats belong on any list of bad fight sequences. To keep your girl satisfied, you will come to me. Get out my house. Our favorite moment, without a doubt, comes once they've stopped trying to hurt one another physically, and we get to behold Johnny's epically ridiculous cheap noises. You're just a chicken. Chip, 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 chip. Uh, we could watch that on a loop all day. Over. It's over. It's not over. Everybody betrayed me. I fed up with this world. Number two, bumbling around. Godzilla versus Megalon. The original Godzilla films featuring men in suits are beloved by many for how fun and how much more enjoyable they are than that one American remake. What is this Godzilla? Where did he come from? Why is he here? And it's Find Gojira, you moron! Despite the fact that we're big fans and don't expect a lot when it comes to the actual action in these films, this scene was too ludicrous to not include. <laughs> This fight is highlighted by the villains randomly dancing for some reason and mostly looking at each other a lot. Let's not forget the Godzilla long-range dropkick. Before we reveal our top pick, here are some honorable, or in this case dishonorable, mentions.
We'll keep an eye out for you, Stingray. Undefeatable. Drop the gun. In this fight, two men rip off their shirts to reveal their muscular chests, which are either instantly sweaty or just oiled up. <laughs> From there, they engage in a grunting match that looks like five-year-olds trying to sound tough. It's difficult to describe how bizarre this battle is, as words don't seem strong enough. Suffice it to say, the scene ends with a man dying, being lifted by his eye on a hook, and sent off with a witty line. Yeah, see ya. When considering which film should take the top spot on our list, the competition was stiff. In the end, however, Undefeatable was truly undefeatable. Well, kid, we got him. He's not going to be hurting anybody anymore. Do you agree with our list? What awful movie fight made you laugh the hardest? Stay calm. Are you afraid? You talk too much. For more kick-ass top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go.